to support this TV. Thank you for tuning in again. I have reached a milestone in subscribers, so I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to me. Okay, I want to talk about the Gucci Man story. About him being a clone, about the way he's talking, about the way he's acting. Okay, if you're one of those type of people that believe everything you hear and see on YouTube, conspiracy channels, and um, Illuminati channels, and anything conspiracy related, if that's your type of thing, then you might not want to listen to what I got to say. You know, um, but if you got an open mind and you really want to listen to what I have to say, then it's worth listening to what I have to say. Okay, I just want to give you a disclaimer. Anybody don't like what I say about this, you're welcome to comment at the bottom when I'm done. You can hit me up on Instagram at aka bands or support this TV on Instagram or Twitter. Same thing. Um, but one, let's talk about Gucci. Gucci has never been stupid. Let's let's put that out there. You could say, well, the man put an ice cream cone on his face, the man did this, the man threw a woman out the car, the man did okay, the man did a lot of stupid shit. That don't necessarily mean the man is stupid. Look at his career and what he don't done in his career. The man started at the bottom. At the bottom in 0405. And, and worked his way all the way up to the top. Only to fall again and work his way all the way back up. That ain't stupid. The man hit Forbes one year and made $7 million. When he was an independent artist. Making more than major artists. That's not stupid. And you can say, well... He did this and he did that. You know, it came out in 2010 or 2011 that Gucci Man had mental issues. Anybody that knows somebody that got mental issues know that people that are mental sometimes do the dumbest shit in the world. That don't necessarily mean they are dumb. It came out that he was bipolar. Okay, and that um, he was in a mental hospital and stuff like that. If you don't understand what none of that means, then you may need to look it up. Just because he was in a mental hospital don't mean the man is stupid. This mean a man got mental issues. You know, and if you got mental issues and you're not taking meds for your mental issues, then you're going to do stupid shit. You're going to do stuff that's out of character. You're going to do things that really don't make sense to anybody that's looking at you. They're going to look at you stupid. And then people find out you got mental issues, the first thing they're going to think is that you're crazy. Because they don't understand the mental, the mental issues that you may have. But Gucci was diagnosed with being bipolar. Before he went to jail... He was all on Twitter. He was ranting. He was had a meltdown. He was talking about Walker, Nikki. He was talking about everybody. Everybody he pretty much helped out. He felt like didn't look out for him. You can look the story up. He talked junk about a lot of people. Then right before he went in, he said that Serp has ruined his life, lean or whatever, had ruined his life, that he was addicted to it and he needed to leave it alone. He went to jail. He had a pot belly. Ain't the first time Gucci been fat, lost weight, got fat, lost weight. Look at his videos, man. Look at his interviews. Then ain't the first time a man don't got small, big, big, small. This might be the smallest he ever been since the beginning of his career. You know, so that answer for the weight. Okay. Two, when you see him in these things, and it seems like he kind of out of it, and he making these little gestures that he's smarter than what he used to be and all that old stuff, man. That just retarded. Anybody who look at what he's saying and trying to find something in that is just looking for something. Like I said before, Gucci has mental issues. So if you watch an interview with him and he seems like he kind of out of it and he kind of talking like this and he talking like that, he probably doped up. Chances are he probably taking his meds, man. He got him mellowed out like that. It got him where he kind of, uh, you know what I'm saying? He dragging his words or he talking like that right now. They, they, them, them drugs are strong, man. They, 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 they will make you, they will mellow you out. They will make you straight or make you drowsy or make you sleepy. They will make sure you're not all amped up and crunk and turned and all that old stuff. So that's my answer for the why he is the way he is now. Now, number three, my thing is this whole clone thing, it was started through a fake website. But what we do, we as hip hop artists, the first thing we believe that sound newsworthy, we believe it. They said Boosie said that um, he was a clone. You go watch interviews, Boosie never said that. The interview they said that Boosie said he was a clone was a year ago before Gucci even got out. You know, the website that said it was a clone fake. The Boosie interview that said it was a clone is fake. 
And if you just got common sense and you've been a Gucci fan for a while, you know, it's, you, you just you just know that that's him. His music sound the same. He got the same fucking tattoos. Everybody looking at the snowman, the um, the ice cream tattoo, saying it's not the same tattoo. It's the same fucking tattoo. Um, they said he got laser surgery like three times to remove it, but if you look at a number of his pictures or videos, he got the same tattoo. Tattoo haven't went anywhere. The Gucci that he had on his hand still there. The EA he had on his neck still there. His voice still the same when he's rapping. That you look at these interviews and he, uh, like I said, the man doped up. He's taking the meds. I promise you, once he get off the meds, that weight gonna pick back up and he gonna start acting crazy like he was before. But don't think for a second the man is stupid. The man is not stupid. The man been dropping music since he been gone. You know, the man been working. He's not stupid. You know, um, um, but that's my contribution to the story of, of all this Gucci, Gucci nonsense. I was going to stay away from it, but my channel is called Support This TV. And I'm not going to give you a crazy title and say Gucci been cloned or add to the bullshit just to get views or just to get ad revenue or whatever the case may be. I'm going to get it to you real. And that's my, that's my thoughts of it. Now, I said, if you believe in all that Illuminati, you believe in all that, you know, MK Ultra, all that stuff, you know, if that's your type of thing, that's fine. But if you think that's what you're going to get here, you're not going to get that here. It's a thousand videos on YouTube that'll give you the same bullshit, probably rap differently. I'm going to give you to where it's real. I have been around a lot of mental people when they on meds and when they off. And they act just like Gucci Man. But this is AKA Bands for Support This TV. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.